Which of the following expressions is equal is equivalent to 7k 7k minus minus the product of k plus 1 and 2k plus 2. All right. So this is going to be 7k minus 7k minus the product of k plus 1 and 2k plus 2. And so let's see though if to kind of expand it all out, we will want to multiply these two expressions. So let's do that first. So it's going to be this is going to be 7k minus minus and then let's just multiply this out. You're going to have k times 2k, which is 2k squared k times 2 which is going to be plus 2k then 1 times 2k which is going to give us another 2k and then 1 times 2 which is going to give us plus 2 so and we want to be careful we want to put a parentheses out front because it's going to be we're going to subtract all of this stuff right over here so this is going to be the same thing as 7k minus 7k minus And then in parentheses we have 2k squared. We can add 2k plus 2k to get 4k plus 4k plus 2. And now we can. One way to think about it is we can distribute this negative sign, or you could even view this as minus 1 times all of this. And so this is going to be the same thing as 7k minus 2k squared. So minus 2k squared. 2k squared minus 4k minus 4k and then minus 2 minus 2 and let's see so if we if we write the highest degree term first if we write this term we just in a different color if we were to write this term first you get negative 2k squared that's our highest degree term And actually immediately when you look at the choices only one of these start with negative 2k squared has negative 2 as a coefficient on the k squared term. So we already know that that one's going to be the choice, but let's just confirm it. So it's negative 2k squared and then we could add we could add 7k and negative 4k. Those two are going to add 7 minus 4 or something is going to be 3 of that. So it's going to be plus 3k, which is what we see right over there. And then finally you have this minus 2. Minus two, which is exactly what we see in this first choice up here.